What's up, my friends? What's up, what's up? Welcome, 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 welcome. We are playing the decks that did well at SG Columbus, because I didn't, so somebody had to, right? Jody Keith came in second place with a pretty wild take on a uh, somewhat existing archetype in Legacy 12 post. This looks kind of like Legacy Tron, honestly. Um, so, the basic premise here, for those unfamiliar with the deck, is the card Cloud Post. Comes into play tapped, and it adds one colorless mana for every Locus on the, on the battlefield. So, obviously by itself, it's terrible. Add a second Cloud Post, each one taps for two mana. So now we're at Ancient Tune level goodness. Have three Cloud Posts, they all tap for three mana, which is nine mana from three lands. That's better than Tron. Of course, the problem is, how do you draw so many Cloud Posts? Well, we also have the card Glimmer Post, which is a new Locus. Doesn't make extra mana, but gains life, and then powers up your Cloud Post. Comes in untapped, too, very important. And then most importantly, we have Vesuva, which can copy any land as it comes into play. Therefore, you can go turn one Cloud Post, turn two Vesuva, copy it, earn three Glimmer Post. That's five mana right there on turn three, and that's not even that good. So... We have, that's the core of a deck, our Cloud Post engine. And to get there, we have our Expedition maps, just like Tron. We also have our Crop Rotations, Legacy Staple. Let's find that first Cloud Post, right? And once we have all of our mana, we can start casting ridiculously stupid big things. Seven mana? Seven mana, you're, you're right, I'm dumb. So yeah, that's Tron. Carry the one, and yeah. We don't, we don't do math here. So anyway, um, we got tons of big things to cast. We got Emrakul, the Eons Torn. Emrakul, Promised End. This card's very, very good against combo decks in Legacy because they can kill themselves. You can make the Storm opponent just storm and kill themselves or waste all their resources, which is great. Uh, one Kozluk, the Great Distortion. As a card draw spell, draw a bunch of cards. One Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, needs no introduction. And then, of course, Ugin the Spirit Dragon will defeat any fair deck, period. All is Dust, also great against the fair decks. Um, one copy of From Beyond. Kind of a wild one here. Uh, this card is like a Bitter Blossom, kind of. It also lets you tutor for an Eldrazi card. So, that's pretty cool. Um, we have four Warping Whale. I'm a little weird on this one. I'm not a big fan of this card as the impact is so low, but it does counter show and tell, counters terminus, can kill a Delver of Secrets, etc, etc. Uh, four is a lot, but we also, of course, have Ancient Stirrings. We know how good that card is from Modern. And we have Candelabra of Taunos. This is a card that's going to make this deck probably prohibitive to play in real life because it is a thousand dollar card and the deck plays four of it. However, online this card's like a dollar or two, so you know not every deck is cheap. It's it's like it's it's legacy. What do you want? Um, and then of course we have, a bunch, we have a bunch of cool lands as well. We have an Eye of Ugin, which is a cool thing because we can search up our big things off of it. Therefore, we don't need to play a bunch of copies of Ulamog. We just have our land search effects. We find the Eye of Ugin and go nuts. So you have pretty much ultimate inevitability. We have a Glacial Chasm, which keep us alive for a few turns. Um, we have a Caracas against like Grizzlebrand and stuff like that. We have Maze of Ith to defend ourselves, And we have one Tabernacle, another very expensive card. Um, we have a Thespian Stage to search for. That, that gets a little more exciting in the sideboard. And we're actually playing a lot of Forest too. So Blood Moon is good against us. We also have seven forests in our deck, so Blood Moon isn't the end of the world. And we have, uh, of course, answers in the sideboard. Last important card in the main deck is going to be this Pithy Needle. Uh, usually going to name Wasteland, because Wasteland's obviously the bane of this deck. Although this deck is typically pretty good against those uh, those fair decks. So if, you're, if your opponent's deck has Force of Will in it, this deck is probably good against it. So Cyborg's got a Dark Depths, which is really cool. So we're, we have our one Thespian stage. So if we, ha if we are looking for a fast kill against combo, uh, we have a lot of our land search effects. We can try and uh, set up a Dark Depths kill. And then we have Surgical Extraction, and we have Crotion Grip. Got some Ratchet Bombs. Sorcerer Spyglass. The usual stuff here. Uh, Sphere Resistance against Combo. Only two. Uh, Trinisphere against Combo. And then a single Thought Knot Seer, I suppose, to search for 
in combo matchups and just to draw naturally. Deck seems wild. Um, a lot different than the old 12 post decks, which used to play blue and like brainstorm and show and tell and stuff. So, very Tron esque. We're basically just playing Tron and Legacy here. And uh, let's just battle and see how it goes. And if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream, of course. My name is Jim Davis. This is what we're doing. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. If you're, of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. What's up? You got B Mats in chat and uh, MTG Groot and Mallet Master and everyone's hanging out. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go. Looking forward to casting Emrakul, The Promise End. Yes, if you're watching on Twitch, say hi to YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube, get in your time machine and come back in time and watch me live on Twitch. We're splitting our, our snow-covered lands because we don't want to get predicted. So if you're ever playing more than four basic lands, you should split them between snow-covered and not snow-covered. What's up, Anna? Yeah, this deck looks pretty fun. This is definitely a non-traditional legacy deck, that's for sure. This hand looks pretty bad. Um, yeah, it's got to be a mulligan. This hand just like, doesn't do anything. Stream decker will be updated, my friend. Yes. Mulligan. To Tabernacle, Caracas, Glimmer Post, Needle, All is Dust. I guess we keep? I I guess we time. Maybe I should have mulligan this hand, honestly. I don't know. I don't know how aggressively you need a mulligan for uh, for Cloud Post. Or a Land Searcher. I guess we top here. We have a lot of green cards in our deck. Not thrilled about this hand. Uh, maybe we should have gone to five. I'm not going to blind name Wasteland in the dark with Needle. Um, I don't think any Wasteland deck would want to Wasteland us turn one rather than play a threat so I can have information for my Needle, my needle the following turn. Hello, opponent. Yeah, I mean, if our opponent's playing, like, you know, Reanimator or something, obviously Caracas would be very good. Uh, Tropical Island to go. So, I'd imagine Tropical Island is usually a Wasteland deck, so we'll play our Needle. Yeah, yeah. This deck is uh, this deck is spell pierce tilt. This deck is hundred dollars online and seven thousand dollars in paper. You can buy a car for this deck. It's pretty funny. All right, yeah, we're spell pierced. I am. I I, I think we should log in this hand. Shut up and take my money. Nice. Holy crap. Looks like Delver. Maybe. Something. I don't know. Thanks for following. Thanks. If you haven't followed, stream with that follow button, of course. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Double Delver. Candelabra. Yeah. I mean, Tabernacle's pretty sweet, right? Yeah, no turn one Delver's a little weird, but probably scared of Chalice, I would assume. I mean, I'm, 
almost always Glimmer Post is played in like Aldrazi decks and they usually play Chalice. So just seems like a deck they can't beat Chalice, obviously. So it seems like they probably have a don't have days in their hand or force of will. Legacy is the format where you can figure out your opponent's hand the most because there's so many things and choices in the early turns. Um, so we went turn one glimmer post. They went land go. They spell pierced our spell untap and played two delvers. At that point, their hand is pretty easy to figure out. They don't have days and they don't have force of will. They were scared of chalice. Um, and there now they have a days obviously because they they paid for it and flipped and stuff. Uh, ooh. Okay, that's a start. Well, now they have days, obviously, but... It's probably going to be very hard to win this game. Um, we're on a three-turn clock, and we have nothing, basically, but... It's a good budget legacy deck. Um, I'd say burn. I think Burn's, like, fine. I think Burn is, like, a shade below, you know, like, like, the top level of decks, but it's still very solid. Okay. I mean, map is cool. Card price progress is very, very good. So we map here for another cloud post. And then we have three, so we have a lot of mana next turn. We have all his dust and Ugin ready. So if they don't kill us, obviously they have bolt in their deck. If we get a glimmer post and play it, we'll gain three life. And we'll have a thing that taps for three, four, five, we'll have six mana next turn, which is not enough. Oh, we have the candelabra though. Maybe, uh, maybe we do want glimmer post actually. Cause I mean, dying to a bolt next turn just seems inexcusable or dying to a bolt at any point in this game. So if we get Glimmer Post, play it, go to it's two turn clock, we can ideally cast all his dust. If they have force, we can't win, which is fine. If we get Glimmer Post, this taps for three. This taps for two. So it's five, six, seven, eight. That's nine mana. That plays around Spell Pierce. Yeah. I think I like that, actually. All right, three. Tap this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. All right, I'm cool with this. Oh, they got Cloud Post. Play it tapped. I couldn't untap it in the yes. All right. Glimmer Post is very, very good. Having one of your like land combo pieces be a way to gain life is pretty sweet. All right, so they have seven cards in hand. They still haven't played a land yet, and they have. So I, I probably have four. So we'll hear we're probably dead, but tap for three. On tap, it's five, six, seven. Yeah, we're gonna all his dust in case they have double days. The hand could be all ponders. They they pay they pay they pay for a tabernacle every turn. Oh, we did it. We're alive. You used to call me on my... Now we gotta fade double lightning bolts. Oh, triple days. Right. Right. I'm done. <laughs> triple days is not possible. So yeah, it was force will or bust. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, all right. That is a downside of getting only of getting the glimmer post, but so I'd rather never deciding to kill Tabernacle or Cloud Post. I guess I mean it's obviously Cloud Post. Like this is five extra mana. Yeah, like it's gonna take us so long to rebuild after this. No creature, please. God, they are so slow. They have Hootie and the Blowfish here? Wow. Wow. That'll play. That'll play. I think our opponent is playing on a 486. Better lucky than good, as usual. What, y'all never seen a hoodie mand mandrels before? And, in great fun, we can candelabra our maze of Ith. Oh, you're gonna make me do this every turn when you're the one going super slow? That's stupid. And that's why I fired it in there. That was a super old reference. Emrakul, the promised end. This costs nine mana. Okay. I would prefer if these non-mana producing lands were up here, you know? And now the mouse is gone. That's interesting. You can't see the mouse on the game screen, but you can see it on the thing. Standard, if you missed it, check out the YouTube video, because you missed it. Don't miss stuff. Play a little green-white tokens in Standard before. We're playing some mono-red in Standard after this. Stifle? Stifle is actually a little scary right now. If they can stifle the maze and just kill us. This is dope. Donate, donate button for deck tech. Yes, it's ten dollars for a deck tech. I will not do it till the end of this league, though. So it will be about two hours. Fair warning. From beyond. That's not the worst, honestly. Still have mana to untap Maze of Ith. Right, and they can't really daze me because uh, they'll lose their creatures. Our hand has been pretty bad this game, and we're actually doing fine, which is a nice testament to how well this deck works against fair decks usually. Tabernacle's been doing a lot of work, obviously, but... Y'all scared of my From Beyond? Man. Slowest opponent of all time. Well, if you folks are shooting in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Once again, we're playing Jody Keith's 12 post deck. Jody came in second place at SCG Columbus last weekend. Force of Will, Exiling Days. All right. And, um, deck seems super sweet. This is our first game with the deck. Really gotta make sure they don't draw a wasteland if possible, and then draw some cloud posts. Them drawing a land is probably bad for us. If they can cast their ponders as well as um, pay for their stuff, yeah, they, we're, we're probably dead here. They're gonna stifle the 
the maze activation and then probably have a bolt. So we're probably just dead here. Warping Whale does not counter Lightning Bolt. We can Vesuva our Glimmer Post. Yeah, I like that actually. It's not ideal, but I'm pretty sure they have Bolt, so I'm pretty happy to just Vesuva and keep playing. And eventually we'll draw a Cloud Post. They can't stifle forever. You know, so we can keep mazing and so on. Yeah, the Pel, Pel Collector Zoo decks in Modern are interesting. Might, might play those at some point. Hmm. Letting them both go, this probably means true mate Trinity Nemesis, which is probably bad for us. It really is like they're sucking jello. It's unbelievable. Like everything that they do is just like tap a land. Tap a land. Tap a land. Alright. Looks like we're dead here. Um one, two, three. We have six mana. Yeah, I don't think we have any outs here. That costs eight. Alright. Yes, if we Ember Cool them, we can use their own Lightning Bolt against Trinity Nemesis, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're just going to die here. So, not a great hand for us, but... Possibly should have mulliganed to five. Emrakul currently cost 8. I'm not sure why they tap the Valk and not the Trop. They have a Mongoose too. Mongoose is good against Mazabeth also. Alright. I don't know. I guess a Cloud Post here is good. It's another Mazabeth. Alright, we're dead. We drew a Cloud Post there. We might be able to cast Ugin with the Candelabra. Alright. 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 Um we want to sideboard in. Probably ratchet bombs. That's probably it. These warping whales seem atrociously bad. Like just unbelievably bad. I think Thought Not Seer is actually just fine too, honestly. Just blocks the three three, trades with Hootie Mandrels, takes a card. Just fine. And then I don't think they'll have anything crazy against us. We got a pith needle wasteland if possible. Later later be mets. Trinisphere? No. We have too many cheap things. Um Spyglass might actually be worth it, just because wasteland is just so important. Like Warping Whale just seems so ugh, like it kill it can kill a Delver sometimes, but yeah, I'm going to cut this. Let's play Spyglass. Let's keep a better, uh, a better, um, a better hand. Let's do that. They're trying to do Wasteland and Stifle. I guess that doesn't matter. And, uh, and Daze us. I don't, I don't want to have Trinisphere in our deck. That's not a good idea. It seems more for, like, Storm decks and stuff. Other actual combo decks. This deck's pretty wild, I'm not gonna lie. The way you make me feel. You really boom. Mm -mm. Would I have won if I copied Cloud Post earlier? I guess they didn't have a bolt. So maybe, but them having a bolt at that stage of the game seems incredibly likely, and especially given their stifle play, 
makes it even more likely. So it's a lot of Eldrazi. I'm not gonna lie. Emrakul, Emrakul, Ulamog, Kozilek. Two Emrakuls. I mean, Dark Depths. They have. That's just like a slow, slow win condition that requires us to cast crop rotation, soft a wasteland. I don't think it's where we're at. Our big cards are very good here. You know. If we had blind needled wasteland on turn one, we probably would have won that game, yes. Um, I thought that we had the opportunity to wait. Um, it is possible I should have just not cast the needle into the spell piers as well, but wasn't really sure what they were playing. All right, so here we have crop rotation, crop rotation, Vesuva, Candelabra, map. This hand's tough. Um, because crop rotation is so bad against force of will, obviously. If we crop rotate and they force of will us, we just basically lose the game. Um, we have turn one map though. We can go turn one turn. We can go turn one needle also. Hmm. Vesuva is super awkward too. I'm all again. <sighs> so far, our opening hands have looked pretty bad. Uh, small sample size and all, but... I mean, this maps for Cloud Post and copies Cloud Post. Opponent Mulligan's... Um, I mean, opponent, opponent keeps seven. Oh, this is so bad. I don't know if this is right or not. This hand does seem worse than the seven. I don't feel like going for going to five. Any opening hand that has the card cloud post in is what we're looking for usually, but that's pretty good. They have days, it sucks, obviously, but I think we just rip off here. Force of Will exiling Spell Pierce. Whew. Force of Will is at a pretty big premium, so that means they have no days, obviously. Um, that's a pretty they got blind flip, obviously. Why not? That's a that's a pretty big uh, pretty big Force of Will there. I feel like I've aged a year waiting for my opponents to take their turns. It's one thing if you just like tank for a bit and then play your turn, but they are just every action is just like unbelievably stuck in jello. They're mismatched for a reason, folks. God damn it. I mean, they could have stifle. Like, there's a million things they could have. I'm just gonna cast a stupid or pop this. They have Stifle, whatever, if they have Wasteland, whatever, we can't, we just can't do anything. Tabernacle's legendary, yes. Getting Maze of Ith just seems too nitty. We already have Stage to copy Cloud Post.
Sub stone. Correct peach. There's nothing there's nothing to ghost. My hand is three lands and it all is dust. You know, like how does this deck lose? Like this. This is how it loses. You're watching it right now. Pretty excited. My fantasy hockey draft is tonight. I'm pretty stoked for that. I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Did pretty poorly at SCG Columbus. Oh my God. Opponent to the love of Christ. Did pretty poorly at SCG Columbus last weekend. I mean, this is just like the literal worst. Why did I bring in Dark Depths? Why would I bring in Dark Depths? Our crop rotations are a liability. They have four Wastelands in her deck. It just doesn't seem like a good plan to go for. God, stop blind flipping! Ah, All right, we're, we're just dead, everyone. Dead as a doornail. Oh, they brainstormed? Sure. It's fun to complain. God. I'm conceding. I can't take this anymore. I just can't. We, we might have like a, 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 a slight chance to win, but I can't sit here anymore. They're just taking too long. And we're going to die all the time. Oh, and still had all these. And still had all these. Nice. Rude. All right. Well, that was a tough first match. I'm not going to lie. But let's try again. Yeah, that like just like madding like you just again if you're if you're gonna take take time to think about something that's fine. But like the every land tap, land tap, play a spell, like ugh. I get that's obviously just a, just a bad computer. So it's not their fault, but it's still just like oh come on. Like they probably just have an old computer, can't can't handle can't handle the software. Oh my god, glimmer posts for days. Where's my cloud post? Yeah, it's almost as surely just a slow computer, but it's no less frustrating. Um, yeah, they probably clicked it by accident. Obviously, yes, they have a slow computer. They probably misclicked the hand reveal. They're not a bad person. It's whatever. I mean, we have map for on the draw too. Oh, I'm keeping. I, I have, I have no idea what the range of like acceptable keeps is in the, with this deck. This is a weird deck. I never, never played it before, so. It just feels weird. Yep, I'll be in. I'll be in Fort Worth. I love Fort Worth. It's one of my favorite cities to travel to. What the hell is that? Gunners! <laughs> Badlands. Okay, they're playing Grixis. Grixis is probably the best matchup in the entire format. So, well, somehow Jody lost the finals to Grixis, which seems impossible. They have no clock, no wastelands, like warping whale. We can we can even counter their hymn to Torok. They went top bottom with Preordain. We play Glimmer Post, so you go. Alright. Cloud post. This is fun. Probably get the style on our opponent a little bit here. Um, I think I don't want to cast Candelabra. We could like cast Candelabra, untap Cloud Post, and still cast Warping Whale. But if they have a a Coligan's Command, it's a pretty easy spot for them to cast it. I guess like, what do we care about Coligan's Command, right? 
We discard a Maze of Ith. Who cares? Yeah, whatever. Sure. Okay, so, sure. We already have Vesuva. So we have tons of mana anyway already. It's not like we need the Candelabra anyway, so. Ponder, sure, I'm not gonna counter that. Holy crap, dude. Mostly gonna counter him to rock if possible. Speak of the devil. Force of will, our warping will. Uh, that does seem sketchy to me a little bit because like the force of will is so important. Again. I guess they can't counter the Eldrazi triggers. That's fair. Okay, sure. All right, well, hit me. They hit the two best cards in our hand, obviously. I hate him, Batorok, by the way. I almost hate him, Batorok. They hit our two best cards. Just double Thoughtseize. And they have actual Thoughtseize, too. Nope, they have Angler. Uh, Ross's dredge deck seemed good. He ran kind of bad, but... Alright, so we just crop rotate for... Uh, Second cloud post now. Well, like, I mean, they only have one card now. You can definitely resolve it. Yeah. Actually, should I get um an Ayabugan? No, because I don't have enough mana to use it yet, right? I have. I'll have. This is my buddy's list. The dream hand can flip a TT on turn three with mana morphos and a bunch of mill cards. And with lucky mill, bring out several arc lights and amalgams. Need help with MB and SB. Sweet. Deck Tech coming up after this league. Again, it'll be after the league, my friend, okay? Um, so if I get um, a card, the thingy, I have Ugin. It's only three, four, five, six. That's not enough. I'm going to get Cloud Post. Could have sacked the forest, but I felt like I wanted the mana. We could get Maze of Ith. It does buy us a lot of time. Um Because they have no they have no wastelands or whatever. Maybe it is Maze of Ith. That buy uh, that buy buys us infinite time. If they didn't have a, a five five in play, yeah, let's get the Ist. But I don't I don't lose I don't wanna lose the forest. Yeah, we, we have a lot of time here. I'm not really in a huge rush, so. Like this deck just kills so slowly. Uh, you can name Jace the Mind Sculptor. That feels pretty good. J Mac. I should play this land. Up, Jim How are you doing? What's up, J Mac? Thanks, Larissa. Appreciate that. Thirty months is insane. Show some love, everyone. Not particularly useful. Yeah, I should. I should play the forest last turn. In case they have uh, Himbatorok. Thirty months. <whistles> Shuffle of ponder. I'm still waiting for the check attack to see if I F6 or not. They haven't done it yet. 
That's a good draw. All is dust, cloud post, cloud post, Ulamog, Warping Whale. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. We're not even close to Ulamog. All right, cloud post it is. All right, we have a lot of mana. We have half snow covered forest because if your opponent is playing the card predict, you don't want to allow them to target you. So if you have more than one, if you have more than four copies of a basic in your deck, you should be playing half and half snow covered. So the cards have different names. I'm not sure what this is. I mean, K Command doesn't make sense here. I have two cards in my hand. Why does why does draw stepping this matter? We got lots of mana. Like, a lot. 10, 15 mana available. All right, they have Jace, Tilt. They're going for the Fate Seal? They put the card on top? Crap. Two Maze of Iths. Probably doesn't matter, but... Actually, I just gotta be Cloud Post. This, we're not gonna die to the Bale Push. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna die to the Jace. Put a card on top again? God damn it. Yeah, I just gotta be, copy the Cloud Post. Oh, copy, copy Scalding Tarn's a good play. I like that. As a, as a good, clever play. Copy Scalding Tarn so we can uh, shuffle if we have to. Alright, well, now I can make that play. Good play. Good play. Legacy's pretty fun. They put it on top, I think I'm going to draw it. Try and trick me. No, they weren't trying to trick me. God damn it. All right, we're going to hold that one. Play on K command. You have to read sometimes, you know? Sometimes you're wrong. I mean, the thing is that, like, if the card was good, they should probably leave it. So I crack the thing. So they make the same play either way, theoretically. They bottomed. All right. So much mana. We got two turns now. I guess one turn, right? Yeah, one turn. Yeah. All right, they put the card on top. We're shuffling. Warping Whale. Unbelievable. Arch of Araska? I mean, 10 permanence seems tough. Alright. Um, we lost to the unlosable matchup. That's cool. I don't even think I want a sideboard, honestly. Yeah, I think I, I don't even want a sideboard. 
I guess all his dust is not great. I guess we don't, we don't, need, we don't need Glacial Chasm. You can cut that for a Thought Knots here. And... Don't need Tabernacle. You can cut that for a Caracas. I don't think you want Sphere of Resistance. I think a Spyglass is good. They should have Edict for Dark Depths, so it shouldn't be good. I mean, Bomb couldn't answer Planeswalkers, but that's just terrible. Let's leave it landing, whatever. Oh, what's up, Bruzy? Bruzy, Bruzy, Bernsey. There's someone named Bruzy in chat. That's kind of like your name. God damn it. I feel like we haven't drawn ancient storings a lot. Storings does seem really good. Posting. Tabernacle isn't bad against the Liana ultimate. I mean, they can just keep three tokens and kill us, you know? They'll have plenty of lands at that point. Warping Whale? So do we cast Stirrings and Candelabra? Or leave open Warping, Warping Whale for a possible turn to him to Dorok? Going to leave up Warping Whale. Brainstorm. Falling turn. Okay. How about ancient stirrings? They're not a spell pierce protect, do they? Ah, I shouldn't have played that. I should have if I hit a cloud post now and feel really stupid. Yeah, that was dumb. Alright. So not that we have much to do with our mana anyway, but Alright, so there you go. Making a token is, just seems totally pointless. What the, what the hell does a token do? And they really like Force of Willing for these him to rocks. Sure. Don't hit Vesuva, please. Thank you. Yep, we're playing I have Ugin. Anything needle. Jace the Mind Sculptor. What would everyone think if Brainstorm got banned in Legacy? Yeah, not quite. And I don't know what Jody's actual record was. Big Fish.
too far. Eh, this is fine. I can resolve it right now. We already have Jace covered. I don't want to counter it. Buys us a lot of time. Brainstorm, preordain, ponder, brainstorm, preordain, ponder, brainstorm, preordain, ponder. Ugin, two, four, nope. Preordain went top, bottom. How's goblins versus 12 post? Probably all right. You have wastelands and ports and stuff, and they can't stop Lackey, really. I say they have four warping whales. I'm not sure. They're returning Angler and not making me discard? Oh, they are making me discard. Oh, they're not killing the Needle. Okay. <sighs> so there's named Jace again, right? Like, they're trying to snap, snap, Angler. Yeah, I'll name Jace again. Not casting Angler. I just read there there's Snap Cole against Command again. Ugh. This is pretty miserable, honestly. You would think we would be heavily favored in these sorts of like super long games, but this seems like this is supposed to be your literal best matchup. Like you can't ever lose, despite the fact that Jody lost the finals. Well, they shuffled Ponder. They drew another ponder. They cast the ponder. They draw another ponder. They cast the ponder. They draw another ponder. Can't cast Angler yet. Only five cards. With only seven men in play, I'm not even sure what we're drawing to. Maybe I should have held this in my hand. God damn it. If I just held the, the spyglass in my hand. Yeah, that might have been better. Alright. wonder if they have hard cast force of will here. Well, the problem is that they just cast Angler next turn. We can't kill it. Um, so we gotta we gotta draw good again. They cast Painful Truths. So we need to draw. We have eight mana. We need to draw a way to not die to Angler next turn. So that is, I guess, that's any land search effect. So we also draw Maze of Ith. 
Um, we have an all's dust. We have six card types. Emrakul, the whatever, whatever, would be pretty cool. <clears throat> Wrong Emrakul. Up, oh, they have Cole against me anyway. That, that was the most miserable match I've ever played in my entire life. That was the least fun I've ever had. That wasn't fun at all. That was really, really miserable. Okay. Um, nice, good matchup we got there. We're 0-2. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. This is Jody Keith's Cloud Post deck. And it seems awful so far. I think you've been drawing kind of bad. I'm sure you haven't been playing optimally, but yeah. Damn. Damn. <sighs> What's up, short? Oh, man. Yeah, just brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. We haven't drawn the card Ancient Stirrings a lot, and we haven't drawn uh, the Cloud Post that often either in our opener, but... The idea is that all of your land search effects are also threats because you can get Ayabugan, but we are just not even coming close to like having the amounts of mana we need. Alright, let's go. Good hand. No, this hand is atrocious. Okay, that's a good hand. Don't wasteland me, uh, friend. Opponent also mulligans, and we're on the play. I'm gonna bottom this to get aggressive. One wasteland, though, and this all kind of falls apart. I mean, that's seven mana on turn three and ten mana on turn four. This will be on YouTube, yes. Assassin's Trophy. Life from Malone targeting Polluted Delta. Wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> These are not doing anything. <laughs> like, our opponent also isn't doing anything, so it's okay, but. Dredge Loam hit abrupt decay. I mean, I assume we're going to win the game next turn. We cast Ulamog, but we have 13 mana next turn. No Wasteland, no Assassin's Trophy, Life from Malone, sure. I mean, they're probably playing Wasteland, they're playing Life from Malone, but yeah, this is embarrassing. Ooh. Emrakul, the promised end. We can cast that. We could hard cast Emrakul right now and take their turn and see what's going on or just cast Ulamog and probably win. It is tempting to take their turn. But I think that's probably just stupid. If they're playing a Lauren, they could just actually 
we could not be able to stop them from winning if their hand's just a Lauren in the combo. So, like, we could just lose. So, it's just not worth it. Oh, they Force of Willed the Ulamog, exiling Leovold. So then there may be a chance for Emrakul the Promised End after all. We could cast Emrakul the Aeon's Torn next turn, but we're going to cast Promised End. Because now they can't kill us off one land, so... Baleful Strix. Oh my god. The mighty Emrakul will fall to the Baleful Strix. Emrakul. Emrakul. Now we're playing this one first because you want to A, it's cooler, and B, I want to take their turn, and C, I want to see what they're playing. It's probably a Lauren. Alright, their hand is Liliana, Life from Malone, Baleful Strix, Abrupt Decay. Let's draw a card. No Life from Malone. Let's draw. It's another Baleful Strix. So I guess we're going to play. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Let's search their deck. And probably fail to find. Alright, what are they playing? They are playing... Four Mox Diamonds. They're playing Mox Diamond Sultai. Just like, Sultai cards, plus Mox Diamonds, and Life from Alone. So it's not going to land. We'll just decay the... Uh, Strix. And now, it just doesn't matter now. Now we just win the game because we have Emrakul next turn, so. Even if they draw a land and cast Liliana, it's still fine. It's like 5 0 last week? I guess. How many Emrakuls can we cast? We won! We did it! So, wait, they have Wastelands? I didn't look. I don't know, maybe they have Wasteland, right? Probably not. My board Wastelands. Um... I don't want a Krakus to leave old. I don't want Tabernacle, and I don't want Glacial Chasm. I want Thought Knots here. I think I want a Spyglass. Cut a Needle. They had Wasteland? How many, I don't, they had four Wastelands? Alright. So I'm sorry, we're to leave all the Needles in. And then, uh... Surgical extraction? I don't even know what we're surgical. I don't really care about half their deck. She should need to make sure they can't wasteland us. Uh, Hurl Man, this list just came in second in the open. So. Yeah, obviously they should have wasteland like they're playing alone, but they're also playing a slow, grindy deck, so who knows, you know? That's why I asked. Um, how many basic lands do they have? Do they have back to basics? Probably not. Seems to be Crocs, yeah, whatever. Actually, I should probably um I bring a ratchet bomb to kill their moxes. Whatever.
You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing the decks that did well. Columbus, I didn't do well. Columbus, if you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Y'all are awesome. 500 fantastic viewers. Y'all great. What's up, Papa Mancer? Thank you for those bits. Appreciate that. Also, I'll wait for our opponent here. I'm going to remind you all to follow me on Twitter. That's right, Twitter. At Jim Davis MTG. Give me that follow. That was the squad in Columbus. Unfortunately, we didn't do as well as I would have liked, but them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Played blue eye control in Columbus. I thought it was great. I felt like I played well, but things don't fall right sometimes. Had a few awkward matches against Mono Red where like, you know, I missed my third land drop or whatever. They had, you know, they had one turn to draw out on me before I won the game, and they did, and stuff like that. So, is what it is. Opponent, would you like to play Magic? I would. I'm all ready. Ready to play. Would linking a clip of me searching their library be cheating? No. I could have easily screenshotted it myself. Like. Bob Buttons. Don't forget to also check out the YouTube if you haven't yet. YouTube.com slash Jim Davis MTG. Check out videos. We have already have videos on New Standard Goblins, New Standard Mono Red, and New Standard Blue White. Modern, arena, you name it. It's all on there. Rosam's list seems good. I haven't looked over it closely. We got another donation for a deck tech. Uh, that'll be done at the end of this league. So we have two deck techs on tap. We have Demir Air. Ooh, I, I like this deck. Uh, I don't like that card. We'll do this deck tech um, after this league. All right, we have Cloudpost, Vesuva. This hand seems great. Keep. Crop rotation, Ancient Stirrings. I just played Diablo 2. I'll probably do that at some point. I like Diablo 2. I played Diablo 1 on my YouTube. On stream, I mean. Don't wasteland me. Alright. Got my fantasy hockey draft tonight. Pretty excited about that. We uh, tried the draft last week, and we had some major, major tech issues. I had to push it, push it down a week. And uh, pretty excited though. Show you guys my squad. It's uh, the fifth year of a league that I run. It is a keeper league. We each keep seven players. It's a full NHL size rosters, sixteen team league. It's deep. You know, four centers. Eight wingers, six defensemen, five bench slots, and a goalie. And uh, my keepers are marked as follows. Leon Dreisaitl, Ryan Getzleff, William Carlson, Wayne Simmons, Brent Burns, and Eric Carlson, now buddies on San Jose, and John Gibson. Pretty excited. And then uh, the football hookup is actually cool. Fantasy football, I'm in a league with a bunch of, bunch of magic ringers. I am crushing. I am 4-1. and one. Todd Gurley's a maniac. I beat Jarvis Yu last week crushed him and then uh, I'm playing this week I'm playing Steve Nagy or Nagy I'm crushing Todd Gurley's insane Mishra's Factory alright and they took the From Beyond alright Yeah, Cooks got decapitated on Sunday. Got taken out of the game because he was basically decapitated. I didn't have any points, but I still won because Gurley's so good. So, 
Any way you can view the league in the standings? I think it's public. Um, the football or the hockey? That's a good draw. That's a draw that makes me really happy. Um, I'm going to try to look at that and see what happens. So Needle on Wasteland, fantastic. Play Cloud Post, say go. Ulamog next turn. Yes, and we also have our Survivor League. Um, I started it this football season. I do it, do it every year for my subs. We had 72 players who were subscribers to the stream play for free, playing for some cool prizes. 70 players were gone week three. Two players remain, Cannon Spectacle and Cryo MTG. So, pretty exciting. Mistress Factory, it's Act for Two, sure. Sure. Well, wow, Candelabra too. All right, well, whatever, yawn. That was fun. Pretty close match there. That was how I expected Grixis to go, honestly. But, okay, we're 1-2. We're on the board. On the board, on the board, 12 posts. Yeah, unreal uh, survivor, survivor year for football. A lot of huge upsets in the first few weeks, you know? There's not a lot of playing magic in this deck. Yeah, um, kind of, yeah. Just sort of playing cloud posts, I guess. But you know what that means? We get to our deck text faster, and we get to mono red and standard faster. Look, pickle, velociraptor. This is all I buy on Amazon, is pickles and velociraptors and cars. We're one and two. What do you think, Burnsy? Burnsy, are you a ceaseless hunger? Are you? Or are you Grizzle Burnsy? Grizzle Burnsy, are you a ceaseless hunger? There you go, Burnsy. Get that psychic dog. Ambassador says this Columbus's last year with a shot before they lose Bob and Panarin. I guess. I mean, Columbus hasn't been super competitive. Like, they were, like, good for, like, that one year. They surprised everyone, but Bernie's about a year and a half old. Cryo asks, is there a way I've thought of to make Magic Online more accessible to combo decks like Food Chain or Bom Bomberman? I don't know. And they probably have no interest in doing that, honestly. They're, they're just working on Arena, so... Burnsy, exit out two cards and you're up, oh, nope, lunchtime. Burnsy's like, screw you, I'll have lunch. I'll eat on camera. Up, oh, lunchtime. Mmm, tasty. Burnsy, a ceaseless hunger. Oh, it's so tasty. I love sunflower seeds. Gerbils live like two to three years. So Burnsy's Burns about middle aged. Fortunately, Burnsy's brother, Sammy, got a tumor in his stomach and he passed away. Uh, a few months ago. He was only about a year and a half old. Which is sad. Burnsy's Burnsy's pretty sad too. Burnsy's you can you can see the change in Burnsy's temperament. Um He's sad about it. I mean I guess just Mulligan. This is bad. I suppose. God. These hands have looked really bad. Like, Expedition Map is like, just looks atrociously bad. Like, 
We have Turn 1 Forest Map to earn 2 Forest Fine Cloud Post. To earn 3 Cloud Post. Turn 4 Vesuva. To earn... This is terrible, like... Oh my god. Uh, I might just concede this game. Honestly. This, this hand can't win either. I might actually play Caracas and just say go, and then like feign like we're, we're death and taxes and just can just uh. I would draw Cloud Post actually. Alright, maybe we can keep playing. So do I cast Candelabra? Or do I just get information? Eh, I'm missing Play safe. There you go. Let's see the Goblins deck at top eight of the Classic. This counts all locusts in play, including ours. So I don't think that the mirror has any sideboarding fanciness. So we have Candelabra. Let's just go, I guess. We have two basically dead cards sorry, in our hand, but if we just draw some more mana and a big thing, I don't know what we're hiding by showing that. Like, there's no crazy mirror tech in our deck, right? Like, what do you board into the mirror? You know, like, Corrosion Grip, which I probably board in anyway. Oh, they're playing like a an Eldrazi version of a deck. Chalice on one. Thespian stage. Cool. We have a lot of mana. We have a lot of mana next turn. Mana reshaper. Now the question comes, do I copy cloud post or no? If I do, I'll have three, six, seven, eight, nine, I'll have eleven mana next turn. Our hand's dead. Yeah, our hand's worthless. We don't have that many big draws if we copy. Because the problem is, like, we have to draw one of our, our, our like, two big things. Like, what are, we, what are we actually drawing next turn, you know? Um, I don't buy StarCraft right now. What are you doing, Blizzard? Go away. Yeah, and then we just get the mana for, like, Thought Not Seer and stuff, and, and Smasher. I'm gonna copy the, uh, the, the Wastes to give it Wasteland protection for now. All right, well, that kind of prices us in, I guess. All right, just make a bunch of mana, I guess, and hope we don't die. Now we're at the point where we have, like, now we have enough mana where we can actually just draw anything and even get Ayabukin going, possibly. Yeah, Thought Not Seer is fine. I over tap, yeah, whatever. Yes, cloud posts count all cloud posts in play. So we have a hundred million billion mana right now. That plays. That plays. Ballista for two? Okay. Big money. What's up, Iyer? How's it going, my friend? If you are welcoming 
yourself in from YouTube, then welcome. Allow myself to introduce myself. Mm. Logging well, Buster seems pretty good. Why am I not playing this card? Kyle, that's pretty funny. Karn Scion of Urza. Oh, this, this is this is their library. Um, they can have the Glimmer Post. But they should make make a creature there for sure, right? Just keep making creatures. Why 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 draw cards? Like I win the long game here, no matter what. I have a many cards in my deck I can just draw and win the game. They played the Glimmer Post. We have so much mana. That's a Warping Wheel. Uh, basically worthless, but sure. Like, there's so much air in this deck. Like, Warping Whale and stuff, you know? We could copy Maze. I think maybe now we actually do want to copy Maze. My reasoning for not copying Maze is because I want to have enough mana to the top deck anything, but now I think we have enough where it doesn't really matter. Uh, here you have like 4, 8, 9, 11, 14, 15. I want to be able to like draw a map. Uh, I can't draw a map. Draw Ayabugan and use it and stuff like that, but I guess this is fine. Let's have for five, six. Yeah, it's still here. Oh, I could have untapped I'm dumb. I screwed up. All right. I could have copied it and then untapped it. That was stupid. I just took two here for no reason. I thought I the same thing twice. Ah, shit. Man, talking sucks. It's a bunch of damage for no reason there. Why did I maze the guy twice? I mean, why do you think? Come on. Like... <laughs> Alright, so now I have six mana... They didn't pump the Ballista in combat. I guess they thought that, uh... I'm just gonna maze it. Endbringer. That's a tough one to maze, honestly. I just cast warping well, right? This card just literally doesn't do anything. They have no sorceries and no small creatures. Come on, just draw something big. I'll play, I'll play, play this chasm, I guess. I can't attack, and infernal damage that would be dealt to me. Sure. So we have taps for five, ten. They have twelve mana. They can pump this blister three times. We're almost just like dead because blister can just kill us.
Yeah, this thing just feels like it has so much air in it. It's like such an obscene amount of air. It isn't like Tron either, where like you you want to play the colorless lands first, like in Tron, and don't want to play the green lands if you don't have to. But like, Tron has stars and stuff to uh, to make it so you can play your stuff without playing actual farces. So. You can hold all his dust. Probably draw Ugin next turn, you know? Like, we're just drawing to so few actual cards. Like, I want to draw these four cards. And everything else just sucks in our entire deck. I'm sorry, I want to draw the... Uh, we have five cards in our deck I actually want to draw. And the rest of the cards are all just garbage. Chalice on one stops all these. This card sucks. These cards suck. You know, like... This deck has so much air in it. What? They're playing their own Ulamog. We're just dead now, right? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Fine. That wasn't very fun. Uh, I guess Ratchet Bomb? And Thought Not Seer? I mean, we have so many dead cards here, it's unbelievable, right? We have Warping Whale. We have All is Dust. I guess we keep Ugin. Corrosion Grip, I guess, comes in. Needle doesn't do anything, so they probably have Wastelands in her deck, maybe. Um... I guess I could bring in Dark Depths. Let's try and mize them out. Like, Needle seems bad. I don't know what Needle does for us. Yeah, we obviously mulligan to four. That's true, too. I mean, Karn doesn't even seem good against us. So on Spyglass over Needle. Glimmer Post, Glimmer Post, Expedition Map, Ratchet Bomb, Forest Ugin. I guess we keep Endbringer. I mean, like, naming Endbringer is not even good. They just have a 5 5 in play, you know? Ancient Tomb. Chalice the Void's a lame magic card. Um... Do you play bomb or play map? Or just pop the map? We just don't have stuff to bring in. There's just like too many dead cards in our deck, you know? We gotta leave the Ugin in. Uh, I think we just play Glare Post and say go. Like the bomb doesn't really do anything. Chalice isn't really important at the moment because there aren't any ones yet. Um, we know we're getting we're never getting getting cloud posts for sure. Um, speak of a devil. I mean, our cloud posts gonna make their cloud posts good, but like that's kind of what we're doing here. So whatever. It's not bad. Like, we can bomb, 
We can start pumping it up, honestly. To possibly kill, like, Thought Knots here or something like that. Which isn't ideal, but I don't know if killing Chows matters. Cloudpost mirrors seem very silly. To say the least. Oh, I sh I mean, playing, the problem is that makes that makes their post worse and my post worse. And I have big things I want to cast that are probably bigger than their things, you know? So... Good lord. Oblivion Sower? Okay. They revealed three lands and an Emmercool. This card seems cool. So these tap for five. Spyglass. No, I have six. God damn it. That's six. I don't think we have anything we can do here. Like, we just have to play Vesuva because we have a 15 mana spell and they're just going to cast Ulamog and kill us probably. But 8 mana doesn't matter. You know? They chose Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Alright. I don't think Ugin matters at all, but sure. Alright. I mean... I'm just hoping enough they don't have Ulamog. What am I going to do? You know, I have to cast Emrakul. So he's tapped for five right now. I have eight mana. This is this is kind of stupid. This is um not exactly uh, exciting. Wait, this is six. I said I play the Ugin, right? So we have, we have Emrakul next turn. So unless they can kill my land somehow, we win. Probably. No comment, JTH. Counters on bomb for what? Like, this card, this doesn't, this, this doesn't matter at all. Like, literally all that matters is we untap and play this card. That's all that matters. I want the ability to kill Chalice if we need to. There's no reason to put counters on this. Oh boy. Eldrazi Temple. Thank God that wasn't Eye of Ugin. Six, seven, six, sure. It looks like we're going to win. So that's cool. I like winning. Nope, they have Ugin, it looks like. Unless it's a wall walking blister. Kozilek, the Great Distortion. Draw a bunch of cards. All right. I mean, they're dead, right? Like, we just play Emrakul and then attack them for 15 and then we Grosjean Grip the Spyglass and we bolt them and they die, so... I don't know what's taking so long here. 
game feels pretty solved. All right. Hi, here we are. Crop rotation. It's cool. So this is 14. All right, so I guess we just go nuts though. Hammer cool. Next turn. Melvin. Maze of Ith. Attack with Ember Cool. Sack a bunch of stuff. They they still know our hand. I don't I don't know what's happening here. Nice Eldrazi you have in play. If only yours was a bit bigger and a bit more spaghetti-like. And pink. Okay. We won a game. Yay! Yeah, I mean, we're running it back, I guess. They have all the big stuff in their deck, too, so... That's not good for us, but... Maybe we'll win. Oh, sure. We could have gotten Caracas and bounced the Emrakul. Whatever. Sure. Post on post violence. All right. This hand has Cloud Post, Vesuva. Candelabric, Andalabra, Dark Depths, Caracas, Crop Rotation. I mean, we can't not keep this hand. It's got infinite mana, so. And they don't seem to have a way to actually search for the card Cloud Post. So, if they don't draw a Cloud Post and we have a Cloud Post, then we get the Cloud Post and they can't Cloud Post. So. Point of Mulligans. Obviously, they draw a cloud post. Unbelievable. Unreal. Oh my god. Alright, well, honestly, we could possibly just pay 30 mana this thing and kill him with the 2020, right? That is a thing that could happen. Oh, not anything but matter or shaper. Ooh, that's really good. That was a, a really, really good draw. So now we have. Four mana. We play Candelabra. We can pay two mana and untap these two lands. Then have a million mana and just play another Candelabra and. Their hand is Endbringer, Matter Shaper, Oblivion Sower, and another Glimmer Post. So. I suppose Endbringer is the scariest card? Oblivion Sower is annoying, but not the end of the world. Matter Shaper is a piece of dog crap. And yeah, Endbringer is the card you want to take here. And now we have. An unbelievable amount of mana. Um, they play the post. We have 5, 10, plus 8, plus 8. We could probably Dark Depths in two turns. Just naturally. I don't think Sower matters. 
like what are they getting you know did, did they get lands who cares they hit glimmer post Vesuva like them putting more locusts in play just makes our dark depths happen faster you know we're gonna pay some mana folks we're paying retail Endbringer draws cards and stuff. And they're doing it. Wow. We have Dark Depths next turn. I'm not doing math here. I'm just going to assume that I have 30 mana because I'm pretty sure that I do. Oh God, just pay. I have all colorless mana. Just pay. Bam. 2020. Now what? Now what? Say what again? They're going to just matter shaper and two new cards. Don't have Ulamog, please. <whistles> okay. Two turns. That's all it takes. Never mind. Okay. Great. What a great card to bring in. That makes this game really fun. Crop rotation for... I don't think anything matters. All right, well, here we are, just sitting here, not doing anything. Oh, I can crop rotate for Ayabugan and get Ulamog. We're good. Ah, oh, crap. God, they have their own Ulamog. This is unreal. They just ripped Ulamog. Chalice the Void on three. Sure. All right, game's over. Do I stack the Forest or a Cloud Post? I guess forest, right? I don't even think I have to. I think I have so much mana, but it just doesn't matter. Right? Like, I think I had to sack a cloud post. Like, with double candelabra, these things tap for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana already. Yeah, it's fun. Alright, so we're going to... Sack Cloud Post. I have Ugin. Take infinite turns with Caracas. I could do that. You're right. Um. Or I can just recast Ulamog twice. That works too. Yeah, I sh I should not. I should stack the forest. That's right. I I forgot that I could bounce Ulamog. Doesn't matter either way. We just can't lose. So yeah, yeah. Give me sugar. Two and two. In water. This deck is that was one of the more absurd matches of Magic I've played in a while. So. Hey yeah, folks, Jenny, welcome to the stream. What's up, Grey Merchant? Thanks for following. If you haven't followed, hit that follow button, of course. The Affinated. The Caffeinated. The Caffeinated new sub. What's your name? Where you're from? Questions are in chat. Thanks for subbing. Show some love to our sub. We lost to Grixis Control somehow. 
and lost to Teamer Delver. Oh, excuse me. We got two deck techs to do also. Deck techs, that's right. We got Red Blue Arc Light in Modern and Demir Air in Standard. Two deck techs coming up after this league, after this match, actually. Thanks, Aether. It's turn three, pay for depths. Turn four, infinite turns. Again, helped out by my opponent also playing Cloud Boasts. So. Huh. Okay. No Cloud Post. Map has seemed really bad. It just seems so slow. We have all his dust and Ayabugan though. I'm gonna keep this hand. They mulliganed. We have Needle for Wasteland, Karakas for Broken Decks. The Goblin deck seems fine. City of Traders. Chalice the Void. Okay, fun. Chalice is just like the least fun card in Magic. Put them all into four. All right. Yeah, that's really fun. Like. These colorless mirrors seem ridiculous. Between all his dust and Ugin and Chalice turning off all of our crap and our opponents playing, you know, glimmer posts and stuff and, oh God. They named Expedition, ooh, hello. What have we here? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Don't play Thought Knots here. Yeah. Or Karn. Or anything. Just don't play anything. Actually. That would be great. Chalice on two. There are four cards in my deck that cost two mana, and they're all Warping Whales. So, cool. What's up, Grey Merchant? Alright. Yeah, we can't play any of our cards. Grim Monolith gets countered. Okay, good play. This is fun magic we're playing here. Having a great time. No one can cast any spells. Our opponent's playing monoliths into their own chalices. You see, one more land. What the hell is that? Gunners! <laughs> yeah, they named the eye. It'd be really bad for us. But they chose not to do that, so... Land, please. That'll play. That'll play. So if I copy Cloud Post, sure. Hand has seven uncastables and or six uncastables and one card that is not doesn't do anything. We still win. Opponent mulligan into four. Exciting game. Exciting magic we're playing here. Bring in these. Bring in Dark Depths. And the spyglass and the ratchet bombs. Cut the warping whales and the all is dusts and a knee needle, I guess. We don't know which um version. They're playing monolith, I guess. They're playing the big version too, I guess. Um We don't need Bajuka Bog. We don't need Yeah. Sure, let's do this, I guess. 
Pork, pork, pork. Sand's kind of dope. Chalice on one, sure. Cloud Post. Casting these green cards just seems so hard. Like, we have so few ways to make green mana. What's up, Planeswalker Academy? If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. We're playing Jody Keith's 12th post deck. Jody came in second at SG Columbus last weekend. This deck seems... I don't know. And the calls at work. Oh my god. Let's draw a forest, I guess. Get the uncastables. Didn't I leave Star City Games? Um, yeah, I'm no longer writing for Star City Games. That's correct. Uh, forest. Suva. All right, uh, whatever. I guess let's copy the thing. That's a lot. That's seven mana. So I just play I, and then I get something big and cool. Uh, I didn't come in second. Jody Keith came in second. Spyglass. All right. This one should probably name Ayabugan. I would assume. Oh, that one named Ayabugan. Okay, never mind. Burnsy! They love you, Burnsy. Yeah, I'll deal with the bot. Bot's been acting up lately. Oh my god. Okay. 4, 8, 12, 13 mana next turn. 15 if you draw, we draw Emmercool. Zach, good to meet you in Comic Town, my friend. Was, oh my god, they have their own cloud post. Why are we playing these cloud post mirrors? Ah. Let's try Emmercool, please. If you please try Emmercool. I can't play map as Chalice and play. Can't play any of my cards. We're having a great time. You're having fun too. They named I have Ugin for a third time. Correct. Holy crap, dude. Like we just have so little gas in our deck. Our deck just has so much air in it. Like the Tron deck is always drawing to like four Karns, two Ulamogs, three Worm Coils, Walking Ballista. You know, there's so many like big cards to draw to. Our deck has four. Oh god. I mean, we have one of them. I guess I turned it off, but. Oh, that was Kozilek? Oops. I thought it was going to be Ulamog. Eh, they're probably going to lose anyway. Can't cast that. That's worthless. That was kind of worthless. Kind of worthless. Yeah, we were dead. Fun, 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 fun. You want a hint of a new project? I'll tell you all right now. I have taken on a full-time gig as a space alien. The United States government, there's no such thing as aliens, but the government hires people to act as aliens in, in pretend alien abduction scenarios, thereby making people think there are aliens and there are not actually aliens to distract them from the truth that we are actually the aliens. Um, this hand is goddamn terrible. Cloud post. Keep. Opponent mole gets a six also. Uh, bottom.
All right, let's draw. I don't know anything. Oh, they have Chalice again. Oh, cool! This is fun. Yeah, let's keep playing Chalice the Void. Yeah. Draw land, please. Thank you. Please, please, please. Sweet. All right. Bombs away. Bullseye. Oh, I didn't need to end step that. I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. That's why I did it. That's why I knew I was going to draw a candelabra. Two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Another big mana deck. Oh, cool. Now I'm amazing if I can tap for mana. That's sweet. Okay. Uh. Oh, come on. They have their own cloud post. Three, four, five, seven. God, eight, eight, eight. There's a, there's a thing in. Oh, I got a sack of land, though. Uh, hold on. Um, we got to, uh, Lapisaurus, another deck Need deck? some advice for my control deck. Any change for main or side? Uh, yeah, I played Blue Light Control in Columbus. I'll just give you my exact list. Uh, cool, deck deck coming up. Alright, so, we can play Ugin, but Ugin sucks. Um, so it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Playing Ugin sucks, though. I guess they don't have anything, like, sure, I guess we're just playing the Ugin. All right, sure. So let's Chasm. Tap for black. Sacrifice it. Untap this. Tap it again. Play Ugin. Just hope they don't have anything, I guess. And so they go. Top caller. My friends from YouTube, y'all great. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Happy to have you here live. Oh, God. Here we go. 7, 10. Yeah. Could have not taken two there. Just tap your Borg and tap for black, but whatever. Drizzle89, what's up, my friend? You're a new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Questions are in chat. I'm not sure, Will. Coaching is on hold. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, we're dead. That, that was that was the least amount of fun I've ever had playing Magic in my entire life. This deck seems terrible. Um, yeah, 2-3. Um, deck seems bad. Just, I don't know. Deck is just all air. Um, we obviously played some pretty weird matchups, like playing against Chalice of the Void decks, like with Cloud Post also in their deck, like, I don't know, not a fan. <laughs> Sorry, Jody. I'm glad you did well, but this deck just seems awful. Um, That's all I got. I have no I have no further criticism. Um We did play against like multiple decks where all is dust and Ugin were awful, obviously. You know, we did play against Chalice decks, but I I don't know. That just was not very enjoyable. So yeah, that was Jody Keats uh deck he came in second with last weekend. This twelve post deck. Not really a fan. Um 
all I got. For watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure you sub to the channel, and I'll see you folks next time. Watching on Twitch, keep watching because the stream will continue. And Patrick from Austria, playing since Odyssey. Favorite card, Doomsday. Favorite deck is Rev614. What? And you have a pug named Mim. Nice. Yeah, like you just can't cast these green cards. I don't understand how you like. There's seven green sources. Like, what the hell are you doing? You know, like Tron has chromatic stars and stuff. So you can play your colorless lands and cast your spells. We just we have seven green sources. I don't get it. Like the map seems terrible. Warping whale seems terrible. I don't know. I got nothing. So YouTube deuces.